this is a quick reminder for all of you locals and surrounding areas for a meet and greet with me on Friday, September 27th from 1 to 4 p.m. And the address is right here on the screen. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. I hope to see you guys there. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are well. Today we are decorating the final room in my house for fall. We're starting on the mantle. I have this vision of a hydrangea and twig style um, mantle and um, what is it called? A garland? <laughs> um, but then I remembered how hard it was to work with that twig um, one that I had in my entryway last year so I opted to go with this beautiful it looks like eucalyptus style leaves and very realistic I got them on Amazon don't worry I will make sure to link everything down below for you guys um, and it came with little fairy lights to go in it but um, I decided to use that as a base and it worked out because the stems from the hydrangeas kind of give the twig fill and they just kind of blend in. I am not attaching the hydrangeas to the um, garland. I, I almost never do when I build uh, mantles. I just kind of intertwine it in between the branches and just kind of lay it just kind of make it work. The only ones that I did attach are the ones that you'll see um, coming up here in a minute on the on the right going down. I created bunches and then I just used kitchen string and I tied them to the garlands. So I made bunches and then tied that and then I tied the bunch to the garland um, because obviously I needed something to hold them. But you can absolutely build these before you put them on the mantle you can hot glue everything and just build a really beautiful one and you can absolutely add um, a lot more to this I wanted to keep it very simple because I tend to get very tired of um, decor outside of my everyday stuff very easy so this year I decided to keep everything super simple and uh, what is the word uh, what is that word Ernie where, uh, symmetrical everything symmetrical I'm sorry <laughs> Ernie's in here with me we're sitting in the study but uh, I everybody say hi to Ernie in the comments I um, I wanted to keep everything symmetrical and super easy on my eye so um, I am going to be changing some of my blue decor out my pillows out um, and I found some really beautiful pillow covers so I was able to just do that rather than buy pillows and um, I love them but I needed to keep them pretty much all the same I couldn't do a super eclectic mix of those because I would have gotten tired of it really soon and so um, I needed something that was going to last me until I'm ready to decorate for Christmas um, so you guys will see that coming up but anyways so here we are um, putting together I'm going to speed it up here for you guys um, you know just kind of placing them where I want them to go. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing and there's no wrong or right way. It's just if you decide to build something like this, do you. Um, magnolia leaves would be beautiful in here. Um, I just chose to not add them, but they would be gorgeous if you want to add them. Um, and like I said, you can build this with like hot glue and maybe florist tape or florist wire. Um, do you but I wanted to keep it super whimsical and super simple and easy on the eye and um, that is what I did I think I achieved that so we're gonna take care of this and then we're going to move over to the coffee table I am NOT doing I mentioned in the last video and a few of you guys said that you're doing the same thing actually one of you guys said um, I think it was Robin you said um, maybe it's our age. It absolutely is our age. It's not only our age, but it's the fact that we are finally content with our homes and we just don't feel like we have to do a ton. So changing out just pillow covers and your florals and, you know, a few things here and there. I think, Robin, you said that you had a leopard pumpkin, which I need, by the way. Send me a link. Um, I would love one of those for the office. I don't have any home decor for the office, any fall decor, so I'm just, um, I'm not doing any um, decorating 
in the office. I'm sorry, not in the office, in the, in the study. Um, I have some fall magazines that I put on the desktop, <laughs> if that counts. But I'm not doing any fall decor in there. I'm just really enjoying what I just recently did. And I, uh, I did the entryway, and you can see the entry from the library, from the study. So, ooh, I almost slipped with the L word. Um, and so I think that that counts for <laughs> decor. And then I've got the coffee bar. So um, we are not touching the study. We're going to leave it just as is. So anyways, I did have this dangling and really whimsical, but I decided to go ahead and pull that up. Um, because I am watching the grandkids tomorrow and I know that the baby is going to want to tug on that. <laughs> so now we're moving over to the coffee table. I bought some really beautiful stems. Uh, the ones that you're going to see me put in first I got at Hobby Lobby and then I bought some more on Amazon and I will link those as well. Um, so that if you guys like them you can buy them too. But um, I wanted to keep the the florals really light so I did not go heavy on them I thought these were really beautiful they're very realistic I just got three and um, I'm just gonna bend them till I get them to the height that I want for on the coffee table I don't have to worry about them them interfering with TV because our TV is above the mantle um, but uh, anyways I, I just shortened them a little bit by bending the bottom and I, I messed with them off camera to get them the way I like them so um, but they're really pretty and uh, very realistic looking. I like them. And here is the baby's breath that I bought off Amazon. I was actually surprised at how uh, pliable it was. And um, it wasn't super, I thought it was going to, because they're actual dry baby's breath. I thought that it was going to come super brittle and it didn't. It came very, uh, whips, like a, uh, almost like plastic but they're not they're real so that was really nice so I did end up cutting them down um, you know to size because I wanted my idea was to have the tall vase with some really whimsical um, flowy leaves and then the bottom one to be a little bit tighter of, um, of an arrangement so we're taking care of that I'm curious to know how many of you guys are in the same boat as me as far as simple decor for the holidays I went all out last year, but that was because um, it was my first, like, we moved in here uh, right before Christmas, and so I didn't decorate that year, and so last year I got to decorate for all the seasons, and it was so much fun. I went all out for all of them, but this year I'm just feeling super simple, and Ernie's loving that. <laughs> Um, but uh, no, you guys know, you, you have, a, it's a long holiday season and you have to really love what you're putting in your home because you're staring at it every day. And I, I got tired of looking at all the decor last year and I just don't want to do that this year. So uh, this is going to sound weird. So it's real home decor that I'm using, but it's in the fall autumn colors, if that makes any sense. That is what I'm doing because that's what's going to work for me. The pillows are going to surprise you, but I needed them to be symmetrical. So I'm using the same pattern over and over again because I'm going to be looking at them. So in these colors, I cannot have a, a bunch of different, I can't be really eclectic. But of course, I had to get the horse ones, you guys know. So I did that just two styles these are the only two styles i'll link these um i got them on amazon the quality of the horse pillows is amazing they're so good um yeah, the other ones they're okay they're not they're not the same quality as the horse ones so i'm kind of bummed about that but i do love the pattern so i decided to keep them and not return them um they're just not designer and I wanted a designer like style so that's 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 just kind of my vibe that I like to go for but I love the the pattern on these and then I just put a pillow cover over the lumbars that were on the sofa and then I took the long blue ones off just for the holidays I took those off um, I actually have pillow covers coming for them they just haven't arrived they're coming like on the 22nd or something so you'll see those eventually i found pillow covers for them so that's exciting and then we're just changing out the coasters 
we're gonna put um, one of these pillows back that was already here and then I covered one of the pillows up with this pillow cover here and then change out the blanket and we're gonna move over to the other chair and do similar to that we're gonna put the blanket over I can't get rid of the blankets because that's the first thing my granddaughter goes for when she comes over is the blankets she likes to cover up when she's watching her shows so the more the blankets the better so we're going to do that over in that chair and it always just adds a little cozy and that also will bring some of the blue over into um, that side of the room as well and now that the big bird to paradise is gone i put one of my little fig leaves there and it looks so good anyways we're going to add a pumpkin we're going to light a candle i'm going to show you guys that the weather is cooperating with my cozy vibes and then we're going to take a final look at the room i want to thank you guys so much for staying till the very end i appreciate you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know how you like the room and we will see you in the next video bye guys